And so today we're going to talk about trimming your dog's nails. Now, this isn't something that comes naturally to a dog like, oh, it's no big deal. So what we have to do is create a positive association, which is not just bringing this out and trying to... When your dog is calm at the end of the day, after a walk, that's a good time to introduce the clippers. Clippers don't come in without something that the dog loves, being right next to it and associated with it. So let the dog smell the item that you're going to be using. Max is not afraid of this because as a puppy, last year, he knows that treats always accompany a tool. You really wanna create a trust relationship with your dog and sneaking in while they're sleeping is not the best. So you have to train them. Training is positive association. This tool, he's not afraid of it because he knows he gets treats. One clip, one treat, one clip, one treat. It's always relaxing. It's never rushed. If he starts to get uncomfortable, you just, Take a break, you know, or do as a puppy, one clip a day. Then you can do two clips a day. Now I can do all of them without even giving him a treat for each nail. He's like, uh-uh, wear your glasses <laughs> if you need glasses. And that's the position he's gonna get the treat in. So if he's up and being all too interested, then he doesn't get anything. So he knows this is the default position for him. So, what you want to do with the nail angle is take your clipper here and the excess you're gonna if you're scared do tiny slices until you get there tiny slices and you can finish it off with a dremel which is that round spinning wheel when you're starting out i recommend starting with the back legs first because the front paws are so close to the face. It's a little more confronting. Whereas the back, it's further away. Pick a well-lit place where you can see through the nails. If you need to get a craft light or you need to have a special light, even like a headlamp, whatever it is that works for you so that you can see the quick. You can literally see the profile of it when you hold the nail up. You can see through the nail on the white nails and clip. If they're black, you see the tip, you cut at the correct angle, and when you get close to the quick, there will be a white bullseye. And that's how you know, stop. If you go further than that, then you'll draw blood. When he was a puppy, each clip, he'd get a treat. And I started really slow. I would just do one clip and then walk away. So it was never a big deal. It wasn't like, oh, we have to do a 20 hour session of nail clipping and it's horrible. I just do one clip and be like, see you later. Now I can do all of his paws and then give him treats after if I want, or I can be sweet and give it to him more frequently. But now that he's so used to it, he'll just lie here and let me clip away because he knows good stuff is gonna happen for him regardless. That was a big clip and he didn't even care. Max knows when his head is down and he's relaxed. That's when he gets a treat if his head is up. I don't give it, down, relax, good. This way your dog stays relaxed during the clipping. Here's the profile of the nail. He has black and white nails. Good job, Maxie. So after a clip, you can reassure and give them a treat. There you go, puppy. And keep your energy calm. Take your time. Good. Check it. There's no quick yet. Take another.
all done. Back to playing. Good job, Max. Thank you for sitting and staying.